In the next few minutes, I will show you how to submit a process improvement suggestion using the condition reporting system in Maximo. Your workstation should have a condition report desktop icon. Double clicking on the icon will, should open Maximo and take you right to the condition reporting application. So I will add a short summary and put all the details in the details section. Next I need to pick a condition report location. So I'll click the select value icon next to the location field and I'm just going to select other and then uh, put some detail in the description. and when you click the submit button a friendly little dialog box is presented I can view the details of this report or I can return back to the Maximo Start Center which is like the Maximo home page or I can create another condition report if you try to submit your report and you see this message that means you've left out some information you have to go back and fill in those required fields Next, I'd like to show you how to attach files to condition reports in Maximo. The right-hand side of the screen has an Attach File button, so I'll click that, and I have a dialog box, Create a File Attachment. I need to select a file, and now I would browse out to the location where my image or document exists, and click Open, and click OK. So now I've attached that image to this condition report and I can repeat this as many times as needed. The last thing I'd like to show you is how to view condition reports that you've submitted. And you should have a Maximo desktop icon also. And once you open that desktop icon, you'll be logged into Maximo at what we call the Start Center. Depending on your role and job title, you'll probably have different Start Center templates. In this case I have condition reporting, labor reporting, and self-service as selectable templates. I'm currently on the condition reporting template and it shows me the condition reports I've submitted or I can go into the view condition report application and this has two sections. The top section is used to search for condition reports that are previously submitted. And the bottom section shows the results based on my search. Now I only have five of them, but I could have a lot more than that, and I could use these filter fields to narrow down my list of results. I'll just go ahead and open up the first one. So this is the View Condition Report application, and it shows all the information that I entered. If I scroll down, I can show you that I can add attachments at this point, or I can update the condition report by creating a log entry. To do that, I just click Update Condition Report. So I'll click into the summary and put more information there. And then I can add more details also. Finished, I just click OK. And now I've added a log entry to this condition report in Maximo. When I'm finished viewing my condition reports, I can click the Home button in the upper left hand corner to take me back to the Maximo Start Center. Or I can log out of Maximo and close my browser. This is a very quick Maximo navigation tutorial to get you started. First thing is Maximo opens in a web browser but you need to try to ignore those back and forward buttons in your browser controls. All of your navigation in Maximo needs to be done with the Maximo navigation controls. In the very upper left hand corner is the home button which brings you to the start center which is where we are now. I'm currently on the condition reporting tab where I can view my condition reports that I've submitted. So moving from left to right in the top toolbar we have the home button which brings you to this Maximo start center and then we have what we call the hamburger menu when you click it you see all of the areas in Maximo where you have permission to navigate. Moving to the right we have bulletins available to the Maximo user community. 
you have a report menu link, you have a profile link, and a logout button for when you're finished using Maximo. I'd like to draw your attention now to the question mark icon, which is the Maximo help menu, because you can expand the Grant PUD Maximo tutorials and see more videos like this.